Hey everybody, so here's an SR04 echo location array. These are ultrasonic transducers. They send out a ping and then um, you can program a controller to count the time it takes for the ping to go out and then come back. There's a keep out uh, to eliminate ring down so you, uh, you can't get arbitrarily close, a couple of centimeters. Um, Anyway, this is a, an array built for a robot based on the Zuka. So the Zuka has uh, some motors, here they are, and some, some batteries, here they are, and uh, a motor controller, um, and over here is uh, Arduino that, that runs the, the motor controller. Okay, but the sensing for, for moving around objects, uh, what we came up with was an array, um, sort of on an arc, you can see it's a laser cut acrylic arc, um, and here's all the, the sensors. Okay, so you should probably recognize these are ultrasonic transducers. So the idea here is to have overlapping um, based on the, the, the pattern the, or the antenna pattern, so to speak, of the transducer. The idea is to have overlapping um, segments, and, and then you get a, a boost to resolution. Uh, for the for the sensing uh, for the obstacle detection for the for the robot. We talked about using these this type of sensor, um, acoustic or, or ultrasonics, uh, to try out ideas from dynamic spectrum sensing. It's cheap and easy. These are these are really inexpensive devices, and you don't need a powerful computer to run them. So uh, I'm thinking that that maybe this might be a good test bed. So this this looks like a good idea. Anyway, we'll we'll see what we can do. Uh, since we already were kind of like going in this direction anyway for robotics, um, and I should probably say that that you know the echolocation has. Um, some drawbacks. So anybody that's actually used these knows that they behave in certain ways. And um, so you can have a sensor array here and even get some resolution improvement by, by having a, you know, a, a number of, of beams. Uh, but if you then add uh, things like, like LiDAR uh, to it, you can get some sensor fusion. Uh, so, so who knows? Uh, this may be a, a cool prototype to, to explore uh, dynamic spectrum allocation and try out algorithms in a way that's a whole lot cheaper and easier than building microwave test beds or uh, trying to do this over the air with existing services. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see if we can pitch in here.